Hello and welcome to the second dev video for Starship Simulator. My name's Dan Govia, I'm the lead developer for the project, and today I'd like to talk about the construction process for our Magellan-class deep space exploration vessel. I'm a massive nerd and one of my passions in life is taking classic sci-fi spacecraft and building them in CAD software as though they were a real vessel, looking at how they're constructed, how their internal systems connect together, and advanced technology aside, how we'd go about building them today. Our Magellan-class cruiser is being built with that same attention to detail, and I began by looking at how we currently build the world's most advanced aircraft and ocean liners, and how that process might evolve to become more efficient with advances in robotics and industrial-scale 3D printing. As you can see from this example, modern vessels are constructed by welding together hundreds of prefabricated pieces, called blocks, which are designed in CAD software to fit together perfectly to form the finished ship, just like LEGO. Modern aircraft are built the same way, and SpaceX's Starship is no different either. So with modern advances in automation and computer-aided design, we're able to rapidly produce these block sections in order to form much larger craft. For Starship Simulator, we've taken these same manufacturing principles and projected them forward about 200 years to the point where individual block construction is an entirely automated process driven by advanced AI. And if we now take a look in Unreal Engine, you can see the five blocks which make up the keel section of the saucer. So they will have been produced in a fabrication unit attached to the orbital shipyard, and then moved into position here before being welded together. The same process would have been used for G-Deck, and then F-Deck, E-Deck, D-Deck, and so on. But the most important thing here is that the structural framework is very much a part of the ship's design. It's a real, solid object, and behind every wall panel is the structure that's holding it all together. If we fly down and take a closer look, you can see that the floors, walls and ceilings are all physically attached to the framework. So building the ship in Unreal Engine is really following the same processes you'd need to use in real life. Now if we take a look at one of the framework pieces individually, you can see that it's covered in all these sockets. The wall panels have corresponding sockets, and using the modular snap system marketplace plugin, we can simply pop the panels into place. So if I grab one of these panels and copy it, you can see that it snaps nicely onto the framework. In the future, these wall pieces will have access panels on them to allow you to reach the components running through the walls, which will be a key part of the engineer gameplay. Building this ship for real is one of the driving motivations behind Starship Simulator, and we hope this obsessive level of detail will make exploring our galaxy a deeply rewarding experience. Thanks for watching, and as always, please do come and join us on our Discord, linked in the video description. And if you're as excited about this game as we are, please also consider supporting us on Patreon, which will really help us get this thing finished. I'm Dan Govia, and I'll see you in the next video.